you have any tips on old school playing Yu-Gi-Oh with mates online? Look into a uh, goat format and have all of your best friends play under that format. Whoa, a heart summon Cyberstein into a Naturia Exterio? What? What the fuck? Is this some new meta deck I've never heard of? This isn't Cyberstein FTK. Cyberstein FTK plays uh, something else. So Dark World Dealings, we both draw and then discard one, which allows me to activate Oja Magic. So he has a card on the field right now, which negates all spell and traps. Um, only ones that are activated on the field, though. And, uh, I can use Forbidden Droplets, because it's an it's a activated negate, it's not a blanket floodgate. So I can get rid of it with Forbidden Droplet. It's just, that's a weird choice, because usually you're afraid of hand traps, which are mostly monster effects if you're doing combos. And Atria Exterior doesn't really protect you from that. It protects you from infinite impermanence, but that's about it. Ooh, I can resolve a second Oja Magic. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm out advantaging my opponent. Yeah, draw three during my opponent's turn. This is like activating a max C almost. Hello, first three I've made. Kind of like this midnight for me. Yeah, I stream really late. I was thinking about doing like uh, an all day stream one of these days. Or at the very least, find a time. I'll, I'll stream in the morning on Friday. It's because I love your WoW and Yu Gi Oh! Thanks for the, the super chat. What is that? Kazakhstan 221? Curious, the Light Sworn of Dominion? Okay, I have no idea what they're doing. Curious lets you send any monster from your deck to the graveyard. So it's a good card you generally used in combos. I'm sure most people remember how I used it in the Chaos Draft against Hard Like Joe in order to set up my Magical Scientist combos. Did anybody watch the first season of Chaos Draft? Light Sword Dominion was clutch. He's using it to send Beast? <laughs> that's... I, it draws him a card, but that's not really a combo piece. That's kind of a waste of Curious. There's so many better cards you could send. Like Oviraptor. Oh, he got a Goki pull randomly out of it. Wait, what? I don't, I don't think he searched anything. No, it's because it destroyed, so he didn't actually do it. Is Wicked Avatar good? No, but I should write that down as a deck to make, because that sounds fun. Uh, where's my deck list at? Okay, Pot of Avarice. Oh, he's comboing. He's gonna return five cards and then draw two. Does anyone have any idea what this guy's doing? Or is he just playing Dark World Dangers? Is this like some kind of combo that I've never seen? No idea? Yeah, I have no idea. I think he's just playing Dark World with Dangers. Because these combos are very basic. Allure of Darkness, is it maybe Slash Draw FDK? Oh, he hasn't gone... I, I, you can't do that with only one copy of Saryuja. Going to Appalooza? I can just... Ooh, I hope he goes in Appalooza. Because I have Forbidden Droplet in hand. Danger Mothman? Oh, he hit his Mothman. He's already activated the effect once. Oh, no, he hasn't? Oh, okay. <gasps> Melfi Hide and Seek! Ooh! Uh, we'll send one of the Ojama cards to the grave. Maybe he just likes drawing cards, apparently. Well, I have Forbidden Droplet, a whole bunch of Ojamas to send to the graveyard. If I had any chance to play, I'd like to play my Ursaric and Melfi deck against one of yours. I think today I'm doing duels against fan on Twitch. Let me check my schedule. Yeah, Appalooza, I love Appalooza. When I have Forbidden Droplet in my hand. Let me see, Wednesday, yeah, over on Twitch, I'm doing duel rooms today. However, those are pretty random in first come, first serve. Right, that reminds me. I need to go over to my YouTube page. The beginning of the end, draw three cards. It's an excellent card. Is this card limited in the game? Yeah, it's semi-limited. Okay, so while he's doing his combos, which are confusing me because they're not very good, I'm, I'm gonna just do something on Twitch real quick. Okay, all right. Did he finish his turn yet? Danger Thunderbird. Whoa! This going to be an instant surrender in two turns? That would be awesome. You're so charismatic, Scree, if you don't believe me. <gasps> Here's the thing. Today on my... Oh, no. <laughs> Is he trying to mill me? There's no way. I think he just used that. Normally, people don't have a whole bunch of good cards in their hand like that. Okay, so I'm actually might be screwed here because uh, he got rid of my Forbidden Droplet, which I needed. He's playing Kaijus, I think? No, he's playing Danger Dark World. Uh, okay, I, I might be screwed there. That was actually really bad for me because I didn't draw into another Forbidden Droplet. Um, 
I need to be able to activate spell cards. If I could just negate the effect of Exterio, which requires hard drawing Forbidden Droplet, then I can just Soul Crossing his whole field for Slifer. Uh, a two material Appalooza. I can just beat over that. He can't negate Soul Crossing? Yeah, he can. It, it negates any spell or trap. Soul Crossing is spell speed four? No, it's not. The Kaiju field spell? Timeless. Maximus Ascended Tiss? Uh, he has Appalooza on the field, so I need to destroy Appalooza first. Osiris is summoned, the attack will be pawn. I know, I can totally get out Osiris. Or Slifer. What is that? Xervius the Great? Thanks for the, the super chat. Man, I love YouTube names over Twitch names so much. They actually, like, are readable. Instead of, like, Shadow Darkness 133946. Soul Crossing can be negated, I know from experience. There are some god card, like, spell traps that can't be negated. I'm still not really sure what my opponent is doing. Their board is slowly getting more impressive, though. I, I, uh... <laughs> yeah. Dark Ruler no more? Uh, man, I had two Forbidden Droplets in my hand, and I lost both of them. What's he going into now? IP Masquerina? Oh, that's another disruption. So he has a spin. See, in 15 minutes when Mr. Log's turn ends. Man, it's unfortunate I'm not running any uh, hand traps in this deck. This deck is... Oh wait, I was talking... Yeah, someone in chat was like... So on my video today, in like the, the Dual Logs Dual Log video, someone called me charismatic, and I was like, I don't believe that's true. And then someone in chat's like, dude, the self-deprecation is cringe. I was like, dude, I know that, that's why I stopped doing it, but these clips are old. Like, the clips usually take like two... two weeks to come out. It's like, I've already stopped doing that for two weeks. You are charismatic? Well, I mean, I don't believe that's true. But, you know, I don't do a self-deprecation... Well, I try not to. I, I like go into waves of it, just because it's, uh... I think it's funny. Ooh! <laughs> we'll send Melfi Pony and uh, Ojama Duo and an Ojama Duo. And, um, I don't want to send Melfi Hide and Seek because I can actually use it, but not this turn. I don't think I have any targets for Nadir Servant in my deck, so I'll send that too. Okay, and I think that's it. I just needed to negate four cards. How many did I send so far? Four? Okay. Confirm. Activate Soul Crossing. So, Exterio, Appalooza, IP Mascarina, and Abyss Dweller. Okay, then I'll use Melfi Hide and Seek. Hopefully he doesn't have a card face down over here to use. He'd be raging right now. Man, I can't believe I, I hard drew into Forbidden Droplet. That's the one card I needed. 12 turns just for him to be shut down. <laughs> he only has 2600 life points? When did his life points get so low? I don't even remember that happening. Select cards to return to the deck. Uh, yellow, black, yellow, black, and green. Oh yeah, Cyberstein, I forgot about that. That's enough for a big Slifer. I'm still gonna bring out Ecclesia, cause she searches. Yeah, I have more punishments in the deck. So I have to do this before Soul Crossing. Ojama Country. Oh, <gasps> I can use Ojama Country to send magic to the grave in order to get more cards in my hand. Whoa. Ojama Country, no, no, you do self discretion You once said making your life sound more miserable. That's how it actually is, but we love you so much. I think we're charismatic with a nice voice. Why, thank you. Okay, we're summoning this card to the field uh, in attack position, because why not? I'm kind of scared that I'm messing up Soul Crossing. Okay, and then Oja Magic, search out three cards. Why is there a delay? What do they have here? <sighs> One, two, three. Okay, I'm still scared of his, his deck. Okay, and then Ecclesia. I'm not going to go into my extra deck. Not sure if you knew this, but apparently Cyber Dragon Infinity can negate the summon Nibiru. Yeah, pretty much anything that negates monster effects can stop Nibiru. That's why people try to go into Appalooza before their fifth summon, so they can stop it. I'm so scared that I'm going to screw this up. <laughs> and like something's going to uninteract, uh, unintentionally interact with Soul Crossing. Okay. Has activated the effect of a card. Add punishment from deck to hand. Okay. And should I go into Maximus too? Oh no, I don't have anything in the graveyard. Okay. So, soul crossing time. 
All right, Slow Crossing to tribute three of his cards. Should I tribute just his, his three defense position cards? I think I'm gonna do that. But you can't monster effect negate a kaiju. I don't know what his face down card is though. That scares me. But hey, how many attack points is he gonna have? One, two, three, four, five, six. A 6,000 attack slifer should be able to win this. Watch out for magic cylinder. I should be fine for magic cylinder. Also, why does this select a monster to normal summon? Uh, you must tribute three monsters to tribute some of this card. Tribute monsters. Okay, one, two, three. Osiris. With 6,000 attack. Okay, we go into the battle phase. Watch out for bye bye damage. Fairy tell snow? Sheesh. Have they had that in their graveyard this whole time? Oh no. That's what all the delays were for? I had no idea. It makes sense. It's a good card to have in the deck they're playing. Mm. Slifer doesn't have an animation? No, unfortunately not. Hopefully they summoned an attack position. Yeah. Get destroyed. Is it going to flip down Osiris? Wait, if he gets destroyed, that means he gets to bring it out again. Oh, that's actually not very good. Because he can flip another one of my cards face down. Uh, oh no. I really need to destroy Fricking. Naturia Exterio. And I can only do that with Ecclesia. Oh, snow is limited now. <laughs> Damn it, if I knew they had snow in the grave, I would have got rid of the real threats on the field first. Okay, this is bad. Continue your main phase? Yes. I can normal summon Maximus, because I haven't used my normal summon this turn yet. For 1500 attack, I need to beat over Exterio. One, two, and here we go. It's still 1400. Thank God. Okay, Maximus. I'll send two cards to the grave. Uh, the two cards I will be sending are... Natis and Ignister uh, Pegasus. Mm, I'm not sure why this card is 800 attack. That's not really... That doesn't make any sense. Or should I also send Skull Knight so I can destroy it this turn? No, I'll send Ignister Pegasus. <gasps> Oh, never mind. I can beat over his cards. Oh, I forgot about Soul Crossing. I can only use one effect this turn. I should have just sent Skull Knight and Pegasus. Hey, in my defense, I'm freaking it. It still has 3,000 defense. Continue your main phase. No. no. Yeah, zero attack. Shuffle now. His negate, but it's still active. No, his negate's gone. A Masquerina only has a quick effect during my turn, but they can still just hard use it as a, a material for something. So I have Punishment face down, but I don't have Natis to use, so I can't destroy two cards. Danger Nessie. Okay, whatever. They have to destroy Slifer with a card effect or attack it with something with more than uh, the attacks I have. Banish Snow? I mean, I can, but I don't need to banish it now. Axis Code incoming? Yeah, I think I'd rather wait for Axis Code. Because if he brings it out with Mascarina, then I can't destroy it with Punishment. In which case, Dinomiscus is my only out to it. Toggle on if Max's code hits the field. All right, I will. <gasps> what is it? Topologic Zeroboros. Whoa. Uh, for each other banished card, if a monster is special summoned to a zone, has special summoned a card. 8,000 attack. <laughs> Yeah, let's get rid of that. I, I'm pretty sure it comes back. Banished all the cards. December phase after this card was banished. Topologic Zeroboros. Okay. Snow in response. Uh, let's see. Once per turn to the standby phase, the next turn after this card was banished by its own effect. Oh, by its own effect. So it's not coming back. Okay, so Slifer is only at 2,000 attack now. He flips down Maximus. That's good for me because he has 3,000 defense. I want him in defense mode. Okay, so now we have Mothman going. I still, ooh, an Osiris. Yeah, let's send the Ojama to the grave. I can get out another one. Do they not have Axe's code? I hope not, because <laughs> I can't destroy Axe's code with... Wait, what? Oh, <gasps> I can't believe I won. I mean, of course I won. I, I brought out Osiris. Like, Slifer, he's winning games. <laughs> I totally didn't win because I got lucky and drew into Forbidden Droplet. Heck no, that was all skill. Wow, that deck. That, 
I, I gotta look at his his deck. What a roller coaster that duel was. That's one way to describe it. Tier zero confirmed. Slifer is winning everything. So the dude starts off with Cyberstein, and but he had Snow in the graveyard. So his deck is basically just Danger Synchro. Where's the Synchro? Mansley? Danger Link. Danger Combo. Hmm. Yeah, someone else in chat said, just play a meta deck if you're going to do combos forever. The true duels will draw the card that they want. Yeah, true duelist. Ooh. Magic. 